Welcome back, guys. Map 2 going to be Terrain Envious with the 1-0 scoreline. Do have the chance to wrap up the series and just quickly looking at the chart at the table it would uh, imply some difference in uh, in opinion on who's over in first place. Envy would actually be tied technically with TSM yep. uh, at 2 and 3, 9 points each, but Mouse would sit down there with Hellraisers and Titan. That would give them a chance to jump. So there's going to be sort of a three-way in my opinion because I don't really think Penta's performing at the level of everyone else in this group right now. Yeah, and it's a little bit of a backstory, some joking before we start some serious business about the upcoming map. Um, man, Mouse's, Mouse's coach, what a line right there. He was like trolling NPS's players. He was sitting on the spawn, hitting him in the back with the knife, and they're like, come on, we're going to break your arms. And he's like, you, whoa, you want to call five people to do that? Because I assume he's some kind of a tough big guy, so... Yeah, definitely making fun of Envious right there in Mouse Sports with a coach like that. Why don't they put him in a fight? Yeah, exactly. See what Just give him then. a gun and let him play. <laughs> let him play for Chris J. Yeah, let's prove yourself. All right, so there we go into Mouse Sports versus Envious on train and Envious walking in. Definitely as the favorites, as you pointed out, uh, maybe one of the best uh, teams overall in the world on train at the moment looking great in the groups definitely high above mouse sports and fighting for tying up that first spot with the sm and coming in with the momentum after winning the first map that's the thing i mean they got the momentum and envy's look it's not early morning it's not a land it's not like these guys were out drinking the night before yeah. like they seem to do so time and time again it is a situation where they were a little slow out of the gate still, though. And, and on cash, it proved to be a 7-1 scoreline before they got things going. Now, that said, it wasn't like they were super slow and, and just weren't in it. They actually gave themselves a heck of a chance. They lost the first pistol and the first gun. That's the reason it got so far out of control. But every single round they won forced a save, which says that they were at least getting mm -hmm. kills. So if they get a good start like that on train but actually pick up the rounds, this could be over very quickly against Mouse Sports. Yeah, now let's see. Actually, the knife round will be very important, but... Oh, wait, 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 story... wait, 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 wait. Just type in uh, hashtag join raffle real quick, because apparently there's one going on in chat we didn't know about. Oh, yeah, all right, all right. I'm doing that right now. But yeah, coming back, uh, of course, winning the knife round will be very important, but actually, if Envious win it right here, and it's looking good for them as they get an entry frag, but the thing is, if the story repeats itself, if Bowsports once again win the pistol and the gun round, they will have so many rounds on the T side right off the bat. That might impact things quite a bit. Sorry, I just had to fix that raffle real quick. I had to rig it so that I could win. Alright, yeah, I got in. Alright, you're in? Sweet. I'll, give it, I'll, I'll send you the skin. Just send it back to me so we can do the giveaway twice, though. All right. Okay. We'll do that. Well, there we have it. We saw the knife round go down, and uh, it should be a pretty straightforward start. Again, th this map doesn't quite favor the same aggressive style from Mouse Sports, but there's still a chance for them to hold the choke points. They could push out toward Ivy with some flashes. I've seen Dennis actually take that approach. Chris can go through with the off, but when he doesn't, it's usually Dennis going on his own, and then it's actually a potential disaster because they go a man down. But Chris, when he has the off, will push with him. It gives up a lot of positioning on the inside bomb site, though, because essentially they go for a two push, two outer, one inside play with a passive hold on Z Connector for a fast rotation. I know that sounds complicated. It's really not. Um, but it's, it basically means that they have to win that exchange when they go for it. So, I mean, that could be a storyline that we watch is, is how Mouse try and get aggressive to read Envious early on. Okay, so a beautiful no scope from Sharks right there. Let's see if we can put up a s similar shot like that inside the game, actually. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Waiting for the match to finally start. The knife round is already long over. And we have Envious kicking off on a CT side indeed. So let's see if the thing happens. If Mouseports are able to win the pistol round. Once they ready up, that's the... What we're waiting on now, because uh, everyone seems to be in. Psycho's just in there trolling again. Okay, so Speedy just came back into the server. Predictions? Do you want to go for predictions, Nero? 
<laughs> well, predictions would be very amusing if it was a 50-50 or something like that. But there's so many things talking for Envious that it's not even funny to say, of course, Envious. I would pick them right here. What's the score? Give me a score. Come on, buddy. Oh, man. I believe in you. Though. I believe in you. Let's do this. Okay, they kick off on the CT side, so I'll, I'll go for something like 16-7. Ooh, I was going to go 16-8 with a CT start. So you're going the high, I'm going, or I'm going the high, you're going the low. The over-under game here. All right, yeah, you said 8-7, so you've also got 8-7 here. Not on oh, cash, sorry, sorry, six, I, I have 16-8 overall. Yeah, I think yeah, in the first I mean, half, I think we're going to go with... I mean, you said cash. The first half is going to go 8-7. So once again, oh, we I think, have 8. I think, I th oh, you're, oh, you're saying in half? Oh, I was saying overall. I think this first half is going to be 9-6 at the very least. All right, yeah. <laughs> I've confused everyone. Let's go. Up. Come on, let's we, just yeah, go. Yeah, we got the, ourselves so confused right here. But yeah, let's just go with the pistol round and let's see which one of the teams actually manages to take it. Speedy down to 72 points of health right off the bat, but the same goes for NBK. He got tagged up and he's down to 78. But Mouse, it seems like they are going for some pick around Bob Side B, but no bomb picked up yet and they're not headed. They're not committed for any of the sites. I'm liking this little boost. As Chris J is trying to spot out over top. But you can only spot near Z connector from that point, and no one's playing on there, so that gives Happy a bit more breathing space. Speedy's going to rotate around late, and this is going to be an outer split with a ladder push, and they've already got two players down. Around the corner they go, we saw that they've got stacked up, and Chris J with the aggressive deagle in the first Ooh, round, he makes it. it pay off. He has to make that work, because this is a Superman wow. play right now, and he's going to pick up the second, a 2k for him. Armor only remaining on Dennis, and he goes down, so now this is still a really very tight position for Mouse Sports to be in. At least it's evened up by Speedy, and Chris is doing Man, massive Chris damage! James. And no one is really focusing on it, but the time runs out and Maus actually loses this round. But man, every single time I had a camera on Chris J, he was just taking free shots. No one even aimed at him throughout the whole round until the very ending. And he got two free frags, then looked for another one in the heaven, but then finally someone picked him off. Chris, man, that was nuts to go for a deagle. And that's why they went for the boost on him, because they were looking for him to get the pick, hoping for a fast rotation. But they didn't do anything to provoke it. They didn't do anything to cause someone to come that direction. So ultimately, they just wasted a lot of time. And that's a huge unfortunate loss for them because they actually did well to fight their way back in the round considering. And they'll work toward inner this time again. Then it's with an entry, picks up an MP9. Let's see what he can do with that. Of course, now he has an advantage over Kiyoshima, who is only playing with, an, with a 5-7. That might be a little bit dangerous, but they would have to at least find one more frag and one more weapon to make it really efficient. I like Most how they're just passing around high. the SMG, by the way, like everybody Ooh. had a turn with it. Oh, and it's down on the ground right now. Smith with three frags already is looking for more. He's gonna get that headshot on Dennis and Kiyoshima actually adds up one to the mix. That's that's two rounds in a row now that Mouse Sports have sat around and made up their mind on what they're going to do. And Smiths just takes it to them that time. The first time they run out of time, they don't even get the bomb near the site. They do, and then it drops. They can't have a position to plant it. They can't give themselves the opportunity to plant it. This time they sit around passing an SMG around. I don't know if they all wanted to like sign it and give it to the next person's inventory, but then Smiths just walked up behind them. Yeah, Smiths with that huge, huge backstab. First of all, got a ton of info, even if he went down right there. They would have so much information on where Mouse Esports are. But there we go. Next runs into the side. Gets a headshot and is looking for more. But they don't spot shocks. But the bomb is about to get planted. And that might be a bad, bad thing for Envious. However, Mouse Esports, it's a little bit too late. They should have got that bomb planted the first or second round. Now they would have bought the next round anyway. Even without it, but yes. they will have uh, the money for four buys and stuff like that. Christie actually, before going down, gets another frag, so that's a bit of something. That's three people's dropped. People's weapons dropped. That's what well, I, I mean. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's at least some salvation in the round. This is That was a decent effort again from Chris J late. He's had some heroic moments in this best of two so far, and we're only just into the second map. As a result of those heroics, he'll go straight for the AWP now again. No head armor for him, no utilities to work with. The other four teammates will pick up that slack, though, as they'll go one-on-one -on -one with Happy, who has the op as well. 
Yeah, and rifles very, very important on train. So let's see if they can put them to good use. Next, jumps on top of that ladder, but it's down to nine points. Well, now five, and yet another day brings him to two. And he survived everyone right here. Next, still alive, and Chris J with two entries. Happy's force back inside Z as well. So that op hasn't come out in reverse. That angle that used to be so potent, so powerful with the op inside Z connector doesn't exist anymore. Can't shoot underneath the trains. It's not a straight line of sight. And Gobby's going to find Smith's lurking. So this time it doesn't pay off. Chris still has the op up in his favor. The black scope asks him off and he's going to take down NBK. And it's all left to happy. This single op up. And they've got okay money. So he's going to try and at least stick around see who he can pick up. But... Wouldn't be surprised at all for the next five seconds he turns and runs and it's going to be quicker than that. He's already on his way out. Yeah, but is he going to get caught? Dennis still around the pop dog. Might peek out on that beat, but he's not going to go for it. And Happy trying to save it up in the safest spot at the moment, I think. Wow, and Mouse Boar is actually going for the T-spawn looking for him. Well, not going to find him anywhere near. That spot and the bomb is going to go off. So, first round on this map for Mouse Sports, quite early into the game. So, definitely good. And Chris, I mean, Chris opened that up big time. The smokes were really well used. Again, Happy got forced back. He couldn't counter the shot from Chris. He hadn't actually extended that far. He caught the first player on the front side of the bomb train. Happy goes for the reverse peak, and then the smoke gets deployed immediately after Chris hits that shot. So, he's forced, therefore, at Right back into Z connector. There's nothing he can do to counter it. This time, complete opposite. Ooh. There you go. No smoke that time, and Chris tries to take the fight. Happy wins it. So this round has a completely different complexion already because there is no entry. Yeah, the smoke comes in, but very late from Garb right there. Still that entry for Happy, and he's trying to shoot through the smokes even. Shocks with double. Finally, Speedy to put him to his grave, but he's down to 50 points of health and down to a 1 on 5. But that time, after killing Shocks, now 1 on 4. And Smith yet again to come in with the backstab from behind. This time he's not going to catch him off guard too quickly. But still that man so bold on train. Speedy. What an easy invitation. Just creeps inside the site and MBK is not even looking that direction anymore. Just patience. But again Smith's. He's able to get up the ladder. He's able to get him behind them. And Happy. He's not even going to allow that flank to unfold. He's just going to take the shot directly to them. So again Happy opens the round up. Just by getting that pick against Chris J, and they can't do anything about getting toward a site, they have to fall back to a, a secondary plan, because initially they wanted that outer site. And there we go. Envious to take a round back, and Mouseport's down to $100 on almost everyone. So if they lose this round, they're going to be forced into ecoing and into losing more and more rounds yet again. So let's take a look at how it unwraps Kiyoshima with one entry. Shocks to finish off another guy and Kiyoshima with another frag. So, mouse paws, they just collapse one after another. They only get shocks. And that's and this about is, it. This is where Envy's so good. I mean, you're not even going to really see it unfold here as Happy does get around. Chris, nice shot though in reaction to Kiyoshima. But again, one on three. He's pulled himself out of these situations before. But this is where Envy's so good. They get the information quickly on one site. They contain the opposition, and then they have to rotate so fast. We saw Happy get to the ladder immediately. He's since gone back just to make sure Chris isn't going to rotate around. And Smiths will eventually nullify the threat that comes through as Chris picks up another. But Envy's very good at rotations on this map, specifically utilizing ladder to get quick flanks out. And that's something that a lot of teams aren't really taking advantage of yet on this new train. It used to be a thing on the older train, but teams haven't quite found the footing and found the timing as such in the way that Envy has so far. And still huge props to Mouse Sports right there. In the previous round, they got dropped to a 2 on 4 They still managed to get two more frags. Beautifully played, but they weren't destined to win this round anyway. And they are forced into an eco right here, right now. Got B playing with uh, Kevlar. And he's a good spot to get a one frag, but didn't manage to win against Hiroshima. But that would have been a weapon on a man with a Kevlar. A great kickstart for Mouse Sports. Oh. Didn't happen though, and that made... Leaves Christian just three points of health. That's quite a bit of damage dealt. Poor Chris was walking down there thinking, Ah, I'm so clever, we haven't gone here. Takes his time and then walks out exactly when the nade gets there. I actually highlighted that alleyway at the start of the round simply because I wanted to make mention of the fact that one of the, the, the metagames that's been 
quite established, I would say, already in terms of a terrorist perspective on this map. And a lot of people were, were asking when the new train came out is how much effect this long alleyway, this ivy alleyway would have anymore, where the bombs inside the site as it has been and go, not back in the first alley. But one of the things it's really good for is actually dividing the defense, forcing, in this case, Smiths and Kiyoshima back and out of position on that outside site. But we haven't seen them take advantage of that yet. Mao's has yet to go for it. And again, they're not going to go for it here. So Kiyoshima, he doesn't have to watch wow, his back. Kiyo. He can just take the fight directly inside the site. And help from Smith is coming, so even if he drops right here, Chris J will most probably just die right after. Actually, MBK Peaks doesn't manage to spot him too quickly, but still gets that frag, and I think he spotted just a tiny bit of clothing for Speedy. And still, Speedy to get that frag, so down to a 2 on 2 perfectly even out. All the players on full health, and then one of the envious members get smoked off. Oh, he switches the weapon. I was just about to say that they have two AWPs, so it can easily backfire. But now, Smith's with an M4. And just to make mention of that as well, as we see Happy Ooh. take down Speedy, it's going to be just Dennis that's left in the control room. He still yeah, has the chance spot. here. Yeah, he has the chance here actually to make this work because he knows where Happy is already. He just has to bait out where Smith is playing from, and they need to play this accordingly. Happy's not getting aggressive just yet. He's waiting for Smiths to do the re research with the rifle, and he's going to get oh. taken down now. Happy knows his position. He's going to smoke and try and bait this bomb. Goes for the but flash. Knows where Happy exactly. Is. Not going to take the peek, or does he? And actually wins it. So well played by Dennis. And that's one of the only times I've seen control come out late in the round, so well done for them to end up picking up that round. That shouldn't have gone their way, essentially, once that bomb went down initially. Perfectly timed by the guy from Aspos right there, because Happy had to switch the pistol at some point. He couldn't really stick to the AWP, had to go for at least some fake defuse at some point, and he timed it so greatly. So they managed to take this round, and yeah, just beautifully, beautifully played. Smith wasn't expecting the guy in the control room, but then Happy was left as the last man standing, and they were aware of his position since he already got one frag from there, and... Just timing. It just goes down to timing for mouse boys. We got a brief pause there. I'm not sure. High ping from Dennis, he says, but apparently that's subsided in. So they end up picking up their second round. I just, again, I just want to mention really quickly that one of the things, if you want, if you want a specific reference to what I was mentioning using Ivy, watch how VP, VP play it with a single smoke. That way they can force out either left or right, depending on how they want to play it, if they've got an op or a rifle. And make a one-on-one -on -one exchange that then splits the inside, or excuse me, the outside site to two players. They're really good at leaving a gap in the smoke intentionally and then taking the fight. Gobby's going to open it up this time with Kiyoshima. And it's the Tech-9 that wins the duel. It's cancelled back out by a 5-7 from Shox, but Speedy this time finds Smiths lurking up and where Dennis played the last round. But again, here it is, Envy. So quick on the draw every single time. You take one site, they're immediately on your back. Yeah, and so now happy, the last man standing, however, in a 1 and 2 versus 5 HP and next and 21 HP and speedy, so it is definitely doable, even if he just pulls out his USP, but he's up very close, he's gonna stop the bomb plan from happening, now Nex is in a very, very bad spot, so let's see what he can do, happy falls back very deep into that bomb star, into that C, actually rotating towards and that late flash was brilliant because CT. Nex would have heard him running away, but then had to freeze up and figure out exactly where that came from. And now Happy has all the time in the world to get behind him. Oh, Happy with that USP after all. So that's what I said. Even if he pulls out the USP, all his enemies are so low on how that it will definitely be doable. And he gets it. He will get the defuse 7-2 in favor of Envious. But Mouseport's still not even looking too bad on the T side. It's round number 10 right now starting, and they already have two. Yeah, this is, this is, I mean, two rounds for them is not going to be enough. This is where I said 9-6 would be expected. If it doesn't go that high, Envy will walk away with this game even easier. You'll win the bet. It'll go lower. We'll see what Mouse can respond with. Shox is going to head to control room this time, so this will put him above the smoke. Doesn't give him a direct line of sight to connector, but Happy has it. He takes down Gobby before the smoke deploys, and that's an aggressive smoke, so that allows Shox to get up. And Personal and Smiths tries to do wow. the same. It's Chris J that finds him at least in return oh, as he comes from ladder, but on. exactly. Kiyoshima Happy pushes up, and Envy are so good with rotations. Happy actually got the frag right there, but man, that headshot from the Tech 9 might have paid off really quickly, but Christy didn't even bother to pull out the M4. And there we go, 8 2 in favor of Envious. Now, yet again, Mousepaw's only sticking to pistols. Two Kevlars in the lineup, but with the Tech 9s, and Tech 9s are very strong, but. 
They haven't really yet happened to work on that train yet. NBK with a double kill and the bomb dropped in such a horrible spot for Mouse Sports. And Happy has to be aware that his teammate did drop. They'll rotate Kiyoshima back over so he won't be able to get flanked out. Again, like you said, bomb is down. So they just need to control this and Happy's going to stay aggressive. NBK finds Speedy. And poor old Dennis. Dennis the Menace. We'll see how much of a menace he can be. He lines him up. Actually, he's going to be quite a menace because he's got two. Potential to find third on NBK, but he still can't recover this bomb. It's still in a good position, and Smiths is on the flank. Now, if he's been paying attention at all, he should be aware that a flank is a possibility because they've done it so many times, and he turns it back. Four kills needs to be the ace to win the round. And the flashback does come out. NBK spots him coming down the stairwell. Here's him, in fact, and just has to fire into it. Yes, there we go. Yet another round for Envious. This time it took a little bit more time, but not... Well, they lost a lot of people, which uh, hurts them quite a bit. As you can see, Happy with zero dollars on the account right now. So if they lose a round, they might even be forced into ecoing themselves. And then Mouse Sports will definitely find themselves in a very, very good spot on the T side. But the thing is, are they capable of winning a round? With Joxy getting that entry, it's not looking good at all. But Dennis to answer. And Dennis looking for more, but Shox is so strong. Holds his that ground. Second Three shot. frags this far. Yeah, that second shot was just beautiful. Next down to one point of health, but still manages to survive and gets that frag. And Shox finally shots down the most lethal man in the lineup. And he has this far space to come in from behind those space where the backstabs. This guy is unstoppable. Sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. But if it works finally, it's just so devastating to Mouse. I mean, that's just that's just holding true right there. Shox hits that second shot inside by the, the by the bomb train. At, at that point, the round was pretty much already transpired. There wasn't going to be much going on for Mouse at that point. Bomb was already down and out. They had to recover that. But happy again. He's going to have the off, and he picks off Chris J trying to cross over. That's frustrating for Chris. He only has the pistol, but doesn't even get in position. Look at Smiths. He pushes up Ivy this time in another aggressive position we haven't seen all game. And Envious just have full confidence right now. They're taking the map entirely to their own control right now, leaving nothing for Mouse Sports to work with. 11-2 and is looking better and better for Envious and the time is running out for Mouse Sports to actually start winning rounds. But now, yet again, they have quite a bit of money to play with the rifles. Chris J with an AWP, Speedy with an AK and a full set of nades. Only Chris J without a full set of nades, by the way. So, Mouse Sports, if they want to go for an execute, now or never. Oh, uh, that bomb was dropped in position that could have been sighted. So they need to be a little bit careful here. Chris does ooh, get the shot ooh. on Kiyoshima. They'll recover that. And actually get a player pushed forward toward the ladder on the oh, train. Smith. It looks like that's Gobby and Speedy waits for Smiths this time. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, screw you. You're dead, AK to the face. Yeah, that might have actually been a bait with that bomb drop. But there we go. Shocks yet again with the answers. Gets two frags. Have an X with a quick, quick answer. So Mouse Sports still in the lead. That's a three on two. Happy drops the two points of the health, but manages to survive. And that's a big advantage for Envious because they have everyone focused on it, on Happy. When NBK just peeks out and gets the frags. And that leaves Chris J in a one on two. However, he has a lot of intel on where his enemies are. But the problem is with an AWP, how do you win a fight like that? And Happy rotates to the CT spawn. It will be very, very hard to take him out. Chris actually has the position, but he looks away. Yeah. So unfortunate. Had the right position, had the right angle. The second player would have been able to trade him quite quickly as NBK was waiting inside Z Connector. So it was unprobable that he would have been able to clutch that out, but he could have made it at least interesting. Yeah, the timing. Won a round for Mouse Sports once and lost it once. So there we go. Karma. It is there. 12 2. The last round of the first half, and let's see which one of the teams can pick it up. If Envious, they've already had a beautiful and impeccable first half. But if Mouse Sports manage to win it, they're still in the game. Happy again wins that exchange, so he is finding that opening, and you'd think there'd be more smokes out off that, because there's easy smokes to throw out from T-Spawn to cover that position in the time. Again, we go way back Ooh, to the next. first round, Mouse 1. His next push is through the smoke. That was how they beat Happy. They forced that off back inside Zine, gave Chris the opening, so they haven't gone back to that play, interestingly enough, because there's been about four rounds where Happy's got the opening pick, and it's NBK this time to rotate him behind. So bombs planted, but they Ooh, still Happy. haven't got good post positioning. 
What a miss right there. It might have lost them the round. And I think that one of the remaining guys spotted Speedy. But it's not enough. Happy had he hit that shot. They had intel on one of the remaining two guys. So that was looking already great for Envious. But he missed it after all. And there's no coming back to it. 12-3. Still in favor of Envious. Still a very, very good first half. But it could be better, of course. Mouse sports just I, I, barely holding in the game. I, I don't think they'll be looking at it. Could have been better. I mean, a lot of the close rounds, it was similar to Cashworth in the 7-1 start. The rounds could have gone either direction. But, but I mean, Envy just took a lot of map control. We, again, never saw amazing smokes onto the A site, which is what this map's known for. We never saw the use of Ivy really come into play. And those are two major substantial factors that are going to help contribute to outside takes. So, I mean, yes, they got a few bombs down. They won three rounds total, but... Quite frankly, Mouse Sports, despite getting decent kills, were never really in it. And again, they're going to give up Ivy. They don't even watch it this time. And look Envy. at the entry from Envy. Coming in from Ivy. No one was covering that spot. They got four entries without even being punished. Only Shocks lost a tiny bit of help. But there goes Happy in the Pop Dark to spot Dennis and finish off the round. And I was just about to say it's all about who wins the pistol. If Envy, it's already over. If Mouse Sports, they can still get back to the game. But they got demolished. They got picked off one after another. And that's how it goes. Now they have to force it up very, very strongly. And if they don't win this round... Man, envious. They already got it in their hands. 13-3, and let's see envious and going for that bomb side B. NBK still uh, with the bomb as Shoxy is following him. He drops down. He wants to go for a quick plant to just destroy mouse boards. Do not let them get an answer. NBK with an entry frag from that Z, and he turns around. That flick on X. That must have shot down the hopes that mouse boards have had. Solid round again. Beautifully played by NBK, most of all. I mean, he's had, a, he's had a fairly decent game on his flanks in the first half. He sits on 18, tied with Happy, who again had just complete dominance in line of sight from that Z connector with the op. It's going to be a scout for Dennis to come out right now. He's not even going to throw that over to Chris J, who's trying to hold on to his economy so he can potentially get an op out before this gets on to the GG. It would be in the next round, obviously on round 15, as they would anticipate it. Not if they can do anything about it. Not if they can have a say in stopping this. And they need to make sure they catch off Envy's early aggression. Again, Shots. here it is. Double smokes out to cover off backside of the site. Shot got hit with a scout through the smoke. So that's a great thing for Mouse Sports. And actually, one of the envious players kills another guy of his own team. That's a big, big thing. Kyushima down to 11 points. About after another shot from the scout from Speedy. And it's destined to go Mouse Sports' way. But man, Envious, what a beginning of the round. They lost so much health from two guys. Then got hit with a scout again. Then NVK killed his teammate. Very sloppy. Yeah, they just lined up over top of each other. But again, we saw it that time. And we're seeing it already from Envy. Smoking a wall of smoke either right or left. That time they go... Left side so they can rush quickly onto the site and try and take over the bomb plan immediately. Sometimes you'll see them smoke right and take over left so you can't get a rotation and the player in hell is forced to fall back. But that's what I wanted to see more of from Mouse Sports. It's, it's becoming a more and more common trend. Again, VP is another team that uses it really, really well. Alright, so yet yeah, another entry for Mouse Sports. Shox is down and... And he has to probably give back yet another round. And well, that's how it looks like on the C on the T side. We got hyped up. We got so excited that Envious won the pistol and there are so many rounds up. But actually, that's the story of Train. Uh, you're going to lose more and more and more rounds. So it's still possible for Mousebots to close the gap. I love that Chris J just tried to go for that shot. That's just absolutely awesome that he's trying to shoot from Z Connector and toward ladder. He actually had it lined up on someone, little did he know, and then shot about... Three seconds, not even three seconds, about a second too late. Yeah, definitely. It looked very close. Now, taking a look back at it, and Smith comes in with a backstab on Chris G, but unfortunately, there's Dennis from the Z. Oh, God, down to 12 points of health before killing that one man, so it's still open for Envious, but... It will be very, very hard to win this round. There we go. Kyo might catch the guy coming in from behind. That's Dennis dead. They're still in the game, especially as Nex only has a scout in his hands, but he hits the shot and NBK manages to survive and gets him killed. What a play from Nex. Now let's bring it back so they'll be able to claw something out of this. Chris J, his op's not rec Okay, it is actually. Take it back. Nex just barely got to that at the end of the round. So he'll have that up again. 
Now we'll sit to see that there's potential to at least see some momentum come from Mouse Sports. We'll see if their CT can get rolling at all. They're gonna need to learn to shut down Ivy because again, Envy's gone there for pretty much every single round. The pistol, that's how they won it with three entries. And again, they're gonna send two here with only pistols this time. And Chris J is gonna be the one to hold it. Flash already around the corner. Chris dodges the first, turns back. It's Ooh, Kiyoshima Chris. and can he get the third? Chris J in a great position right now. Next will hold the site. Chris eventually does drop to Happy. This is already looking favorable. Happy does pick up the op in return, though. This could be a problem. Yeah, this could definitely be a problem. He stays alive at six points of health. Helps himself to a second frag. Already but Speedy with an answer. He's down to 14 himself, so anything could have killed him. But Envious just couldn't find that one thing that could have killed him, actually. 14-6, and now Sports still in the game. While on the other hand, Envious, they don't have a lot of money. They will be going for some... Force bars right here, as you can see, Shock's only playing with a P250. Not even going for a Tech 9, that's surprising. Yeah, it's, it's a bit interesting to see him not pick up the Tech 9. He likes that gun a lot, and Chris now, he's using Happy's position to his advantage. No smokes again to block off his position, and now next, he actually gets caught by Keo. This is big, because he's the man who has to hold the front side of the bomb train, and Chris now has to go recovery mode, which forces the rotation. Luckily, Dennis gets in position, but Kiyoshima is causing all sorts of problems. If next had to come back around and not been picked off by from the guy from ladder, this round would have been over a long time ago, and now it's down to a winnable situation, a one-on-two for Kiyoshima. Yeah, but take a look at that. Kia with three frags already. Uh, that A scenario definitely looked very possible, but he did get killed by Speedy. Two AWPs in the lineup of Mouse Ports, and they have quite a bit of money. While on the other hand, forcing it up here previously, Envy with Shocks playing with a P250. Now they're down to 3.5k on everyone. Not possible to buy up the rifles and nades with it. So it will actually bring Mouseports quite close in the scoreline. As I said, it's not over yet. There's the aggressive play from Dennis. If he has the spawn for it, he's going to head to that that corner every single time. And Shox plays the role of Spider-Man and swings in over top of him and takes him down with that P250. Trademark weapon for him, but Dennis will go to that corner every single time he has the spawn that he thinks he can beat them to it. Oh, Chris J with a great angle right there. Happy was definitely not expecting him to come from that one. And only Sharks remains. He got that Spider-Man kill, as you pointed out, but he cannot use the M4 that he later picked up. 14-8, Mouse Ports. Slowly, slowly, slowly bringing it back. Two AWPs, as pointed out earlier, but no SCAR-20 up until that point in the game overall. No one really went for that auto-sniper just yet. By the way, you just lost the bet. Oh, yeah, I did. You're closer. There you go. Oh, we'll see what how the smokes the go this so. time. The wage, I, there was no wage. You would have okay. had to shave your head if we made a wage. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I know you love For your the hair. Next, if we cast a land together, I will just shave off my head. All I'll right, combo. fair enough. Good smokes out early from Mouse to shut down that push on ladder. There was no way into the site. Next needs to be careful not to get caught this round as well because they know his position already. He waits inside Ooh, the next. smokes and Happy's gonna what? take him down. What Happy? What a double kill right there. Gets the first frag through the smoke. Gets another headshot on a guy he wasn't really aware of. And gets the frag and Christian. And gets the frag and Gobby. He's on fire. He's looking for that ace. And man, envious. They want to make it that 16-8 you were talking about. Next doesn't have to play that position. His job is to hold off the quick rush on the front, the, the T side of the bomb train. Happy, or, or rather, excuse me, Chris J, as it was happy in the first half, Chris J will hold off ladder side. But he doesn't have to play it from that choke point and get overwhelmed by the grenades they're putting in there. He can actually go to the control room and have the same effect. He can actually play it from hell and push beyond the green train into the gap between the two. There's about four angles total, in fact, he could play that from. So he needs to change it up. So 15-8, it's going to be match point. We'll see if Nex can, uh, can find a way to slow that down, because if they keep beating him, they'll win the site every single time. And after all, Happy gets that ace. He actually was the one to kill the last guy. So, yeah, clap, clap to him. Beautifully played and Envious 15-8. What a time to get an ace yet again. Previously, he got a double kill on Cash to close out the map, and here he gets an ace before... Maybe the last round. Let's see. Let's see if Envious can take this. And, well, especially if Mouse Esports and such 
A slim buy. It is a big possibility. Oh, Chris Chi the shot from the shock. Still doesn't know where he is, and he gets that no scope. Beautifully played by Chris Chi. He's definitely the pillar, the pillar of the team. And NBK now the last man standing. Got a nade kit frag. Got a headshot in the sights. And in a one-on-one, -on -one, he's very low on health, so it's not very likely that he can win it, especially as Dennis know where he knows where he is. But still, what a play from an NBK before stepping down. And that's recovery mode again. Three rounds now in a row we've seen that Nex has been the first man to go down. And he did try and change his angle. In fact, he didn't even... The same fight. He didn't even go for the connection point. He took the ladder side. And he still got dropped by the op when it came out from ladder. So he really needs to change his position when he comes out of spawn. Alright, so there we go. Three tech nines in the lineup of NBS. And once again, I will repeat that. It's not yet over. Now Sports can still make the comeback, it can still be an overtime, but let's wait and see what happens in the game actually. Well, Speedy and Dennis with the entries, so they most probably will take this round, but what next? If Envious finally have the weapons in their hands once again. Actually, a refrag and they're going for that bombsite A. Nice flashbang to maybe find a frag next, but Dennis shuts it down completely. And they'll pick up all four AKs that were left on the ground. They should allow Chris J. No, they can't actually. They can't afford an op. Dennis only has 4,100, so they'll stay with rifles. In fact, it's going to be an M4 that he picks up. And we're going to have a pause because we do have a player that has dropped out from NB side. So that'll be momentary before we get underway again. Now, yeah, all right. So we have to wait it out a little bit. And Envious, it still doesn't look like they... Can really afford a full buy right here, especially with Smiths on 2700, 3200 for Kiyoshima, 3400 for NBK. Not looking too pretty, but happy on the other hand. He might buy up some pistols for the team and they can go for some kind of a Kevlar force. Yeah, so Shox is our player missing. As obvious, yep. but I mean, the interesting thing to note is that because of the first half, again, this is a really CT-sided map between these two teams, just like it was on Cash. There's only been one gun round picked up by Envy so far, and that was, in fact, the round that they did take down next. So it was a recovery round, and the one after that could have sealed the deal, so they really need to stay tight. There is a chance for this comeback to actually work right now for Mouse Sports, simply based on the trend that's been going on. But if they're going to continue to put this pressure on the outer site, two things need to happen. One is more efficiency on the entries, canceling out... Team Envious is push coming through because their economy is staying fragile. And two, needing to be aware that on a dime's notice, Envious could throw a curveball and head toward that inner site. So they can't get too confident in holding that connection point outside. And well, it's not over till it's over. I very much like what Devil Walk used to say on that Gaming Paradise qualifier. He always said, it's not over till it's over. And... Counter-Strike is always Counter-Strike, so everything can happen and each game can be turned around and bigger comebacks happened in the CSGO history, so you can never count a team out. Yeah, totally. I completely agree. But just just to, 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 to drive that point home about throwing the curveball, is sometimes if they throw the curveball, let's say they're on 14 rounds, they get to that 15th, they've only picked up the one gun round, it shows that they're not actually doing that well on their T side. Uh -huh. You've got that little extra breathing room, but now one curveball and a miss on the swing, you're done. It's over. I mean, there's no breathing room right now. So Mouse, it's a lot. It puts a lot more pressure on the situation. They can't gamble as much per se. They can't get aggressive on A to cancel out the pushes early. They have to play passive and stick to their default because, again, one slip up and it's too far. They they can't take the fight at all. They've just got to let the fight happen and and be in the right positions, be proactive and not reactive, and uh, and not overstep the markets. I mean, it, it is a lot tighter when they're on match point like this. Yeah, and also just to point out, man, Envious, they got a flawless pistol round. But the thing is, Mouse Boss, they managed to win a force buy in the second one, and that holds them still in the game. So it could have been already over a long time ago. And that's the thing. Very small breathing room. Whatever small mistakes teams make, it can really come back to haunt them. So Shox has made it back into the server. We should be underway any second. Quick look at the scoreboard. It's Chris J who leads the way now for Maus. No surprise. He's on 24. As we've seen him pick up multiple 3Ks inside the outer, inside the outer site. There's a good paradox for you. 
an oxymoron. <laughs> no, that I mean, he's been pretty solid on his CT side. That's what I'm trying to say. But Happy leads the way with 27 overall. So both sides, the op has been the force to be reckoned with. And both sides, it's because of the lack of smokes that's covering off that Z connector. All right, so we are getting back into the game. 15, 10, five more rounds for Mouse Sports to make it into the overtime. But at least Envious are safe. That they won't lose the map right here, right now. Mouse Boys will have first have to bring it to an overtime. There's no possibility of them winning it 16-15. Wow, but Envious with two great entries with attack times right here. They will pick up the weapons and all of a sudden, Envious might even be looking to close out the game right here, right now. Gob with a huge answer, Speedy also, but Shox and Q with more frags. Man, Envious, they just have to kill one more man. But in a 1v3 situation, Speedy wins it. Wow. Gets three frags from three different angles and very quickly consecutively. That's huge. That's like an individual play. Like that outweighs all the other individual plays in this game. That keeps them alive. 15-11 gets the economy very tight right now on Envious side. So speedy, my hat's off to you in full pressure situation. So many crumble, he succeeds. And now he's gonna try and push out toward ladder aggressively. Smoke to cover off the top part. And this is the curveball. Here comes from Envy right now. They need to be ready for this. Yeah, they definitely do, and so, uh, well, Garb with one frag, he's looking for more, he gets another, and gets the info on where the remaining guys are, so beautifully played by this guy from Mouseports, and shocks to find one frag before going down, so actually, surprisingly, he manages in a one-on-two situation to confuse the enemies and still get one, but that only leaves Kiyoshima alive now, and Dennis already is aware of his position, throws an ice pop flash, and gets the headshot. I thought for sure that was it. That was I, They actually did go back to the default by wrapping three ladder instead of two that time. But with three coming, I thought for sure they were going inner. So they still haven't played with that inner bomb site at all. And I don't know if it's that single smoke that Speedy's throwing that's discouraging them entirely. Or the fact that the one round they did go there was the one round that Dennis pushed up. But there's actually... Yeah, here we go. This time it's five. Surely they have to this time on pistols. And they will. It's going to be all down to Speedy again. Okay, so let's see... There we go, going for the bomb site, as you said, as five, going in with the bomb, they might have already planted it, yes, they are going for it, Kiyoshima with the plants, but Envious, every single man, just pushes out very far, and they fall one after another, now it's a five on three, and, uh, yeah, they don't have a lot of space to work with, Christy with yet another frag, and they're closing in, the CT's just closing in, there's only limited... Amount of space where NBK could be sitting, so Mouse can just assume he's behind that train. They're gonna get him. That's the round. Wow, Mouseport's bringing it so, so close. 15 13 already, and Envious, they are running out of space themselves. You were talking about the space for breathing. Yeah, this is definitely gonna get tough. I, I mean, that's the curveball to do it, but to do it on an eco round, it, they could almost do that with rifles and potentially take the fight. I mean, the, it is a lot harder to get to that site. There's no question about it. I mean, the other option is to go with four and try and go for a complete flank right now through CT, through Ivy, because you they, they did cause some fast rotations that time. Speedy called very quickly that they were coming, but the smokes deployed just delays things so much. And they didn't really wrap anyone out up or to drop onto the bomb site. Again, I still think the weakness right now is, despite that I'm talking about this curveball, I still think it's Nex right now, who does sit with 14 kills. He is above Gobby, but he's the one that's gone down outer and put a lot more pressure on Chris J. If they can find Chris J right after they find Nex, they'll have the outer bomb site entirely. The problem is they haven't found them both when they get one or the other. Yeah, definitely, that's the thing. 7,000 money on NBK. He definitely has quite a bit of that, but the rest of the team is not looking so good. So yeah, just two more and I didn't rounds actually see, remain. Yeah, I didn't actually see what Shox had before he left. But getting that bomb plant in the previous round helps them a lot. Yeah, definitely. That keeps them alive. And uh, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, Envious, they only have two more rounds to work with. And if they run out of money, it's over. It will be an overtime. And then Mouseports once again get a fresh chance at winning this train. And... Before that map even begun, we said like 16-7, 16-8, we said that Envious are one of the strongest guys in the world on this map. 
and they're not showing it. Oh, well, that's and that's the thing. They're showing to me right now that they're almost a little bit one dimensional. We saw an awesome pistol round off them where they took control of Ivy, but in the last, I, basically, to me, what I I can only assume is that the mentality is for them is, oh, guys, we only need one more. Eventually, it's gonna work. Let's just keep doing yeah. this. Like we're getting so close every time. Eventually, it's well, it's not. It's not working. This is when they need to realize and make that call right now. And Shocks, who is still strat calling for them, needs to be the one to say, guys, all right, we're switching the default. Let's go to Ivy. They've won Ivy pretty much every single time they went there, except when Chris J had the op there. And Chris J hasn't been playing there as of late. They know Chris J is playing toward the Z connector. So if they can win that Ivy, then they divide the defense, pull Nex back. They've been winning the battle against Nex. That gives them a chance. So there's other options that they haven't been utilizing nearly as much simply due to the fact that I, I, I honestly, the only thing that can like I can comprehend in my mind is just that they think they're so close that it'll eventually work. And you can't leave it to chance, not with two rounds of the difference right now. You know, when it was at first 16 or whatever it was, 14-4, then there was, you know, that chance that they could just keep doing it, but it hasn't worked. They need to switch it up. All right, so there we go. Uh, oh, that, we still don't have shocks on the server. I wanted to say we're going to go live very, very shortly, but we still don't have shocks on the server. But... Yeah, just waiting for him to come back shortly. Oh, there he is. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, looking at the economy of mouse sports, on the other hand, uh, they might run out of money too. Uh, if they just lose a lot of weapons every single round from now. And well, actually, there's not a lot of space right there. So envious. Basically, if they drop four people right here, Mouse spots might struggle with some FAMAS or something, but it's not going to be bad the, by any means. The, the big thing was that Shox did have the 6200 when they came back in, so I, I definitely want to see a change of play right now. I mean, again, it's one round yeah. to go. It's not that big of a margin to grab, but they have to change it up, and they are. Here we go. We're going to see an Ivy play. We'll see if Smiths can open up the defense a little bit here, and Chris J, unfortunately for them this time, is back toward that position. All right, so let's see how it goes for Envious. Uh, three men in Ivy, that's a good call, as you said, but Dennis just manages to turn around and get two frags without any struggling. Kirishima and shocks with answers. That puts them in a three on three, but next yet again with a frag, and there's one more guy in Ivy, and Nex is aware of that. That's bombed down, but it doesn't matter since shocks is in a different spot, but they still turn around and get him. Nex with a triple kill to close it out, and Dennis with a double. That's a full house right there. And that was an entirely different CT side of default than we've seen the entire game, and I don't know what the call was by Mouse Sports, but Gobby or whoever made that decision, that was perfect. By putting Chris J in toward Hell and having Dennis directly with him to support, the intention of those smokes that come through Ivy is to divide the, de the two defensive players that are playing there. They played together, and as a result, they were able to shut down all three players that come through. This time, Chris J is alone, but no one's heading that direction. He's already got shocks down, and it's going to be one man the difference and one man in the grave already for Envious. And let's see how this round goes. It's uh, the last one. Definitely before the overtime or the end of the match. Will Envious finally take it 16-14 or will it be 15-15 in an overtime? Well, it definitely goes the way of Mouse Sports a little bit as they got an entry and shocks and an entry on NBK right now. Chris J, impeccable op play throughout the whole best of two actually. And a nice shot by Dennis as well to take down Happy. So it looks like overtime is impending and... Very oh, much inadvertent at this point because Chris J has now picked up another. That's three kills for him. Kiyoshima only managing to get the one and quick switching over to the knife and attempt to retreat. Perhaps almost a misclick as the player came up the ladder at speedy. And 15-15, they each go with 12 rounds wow. on their CT side. Remarkable defensive play from both teams and a little bit of slip up and lackluster performance on their attack. Now the difference is that mouse sports get to start out on CT and very commonly that usually means that they're not warmed up when they switch over so Envy might still have a slight advantage here. It is MR3 right, so by the way. 10k MR3. Yep. That is it. But at least I can now say I didn't lose the bet officially since it went to the overtime so... Fair enough. I'll give you that. All right, there we go. Kiyoshima wants to drop there very quickly, but doesn't actually get into the crosshair of one of the mouse sports players. That would have been a quick entry for the German team, most probably. So, the interesting thing yeah. is that Dennis, we just saw head up toward Ivy. As soon as he fell back, NBK was there waiting, but because NBK heard him run all the way down, he now knows he has Ivy for free. So he's pushing into the site. Dennis will win this battle against Shocks, but NBK is already hot on his heels. Hasn't got the angle to find him yet, and Chris is going to watch the inner bomb site because that's where all the action is heading right now. But they need to be aware of this flank. 
Ooh, and it's NBK. Look Kiyoshima. how passive he's being. Look at NBK. He's going to call this that they're rotating over. He just needs to get in position right now, and he might be able to cut them off because the bomb's going to come back. He's made this call, so and he's going to wait so patient from NBK, and now they're going to bring the back bomb back in this position. And it could just be the one round they need on this T side to make it work. He has smoked off Z. They will push through that, but MBK's gotten in control. Perfect post plant position. And the trigger discipline may pay off. Chris J missed with the AWP. Kiyoshima was right on top of the train, and he missed that obvious shot, and that was over. Now Sports lost the round at that point. It's impossible for them to win at this stage. They made huge mistakes, and it would just be unfair for Envious to lose at this point. I like that he shot at him three times with the op and then just switched to the clock eventually. Yeah. Still, they got the round 16, 15 plus the bomb plan, so they got every single bit of money that was available for the taking. Again, that play all came from MBK being aware that if he's running back, they know the call's gone inner. MBK was aware they'd given up that side of the map and he just took it to them and got in behind them. I mean, that was just brilliance on his part to use sound to his completed control. And Speedy's Ooh, gonna get the first look. one in this as Kiyoshima pushes through the smoke. Still close. Speedy down to 12 points of health. He almost died. It could have gone both ways. NBK looking for the frag on Chris J. He's gonna get that. That's extremely important as if Mousesports lose a round right now, they won't have the money to play in the third round of the overtime. And there is Envious with a three on three, actually. Mouse managed to still hold it even. NBK, though, in a very good spot. If he catches someone on the lurk, that would be great for Envious. And but he has just down coming to in to grab the bomb as well. Speedy down to 12, but Speedy Ooh. has the angle catching on Smiths. And like you said, they would be forced to save if they don't win this round on Mouseport's side. And sometimes overtime, just hitting that reset button mentally as well. It's Envy playing an entirely different game than we saw. That Not this repetitive strategy on the outer bomb site that's making all the difference. They still have a bit of room to work with in this round, but they are down a man. MBK oh. still going to get this bomb placed. He's not going to catch a lurker, but he's going to get a bomb plant in a definitely unexpected spot. And Speedy down to 12 points of health. Now is the last man standing. Now down to four, and he's most probably just going to go down. But let's see. It's not yet over. Everyone in the line of Envious is also low, so it is a possibility of him winning the round. Just take a look at that. What a headshot with a USP, but Happy is coming in from behind. And there we go. Well played, Envious with two rounds on the T side of the overtime already. Can't they win all three? Well, most probably they can, as Mouseport's now playing a force buy and pistols. Pistols all over the place. Christy will also have to play with a pistol. Same goes for Speedy. So only a Mag-7 and a Scout in the lineup. I mean, what a, what a reset button from Envy. And again, it's MBK that falls back. They get the fire kill and happy. That shot's coming out of ladder. That just pretty much put the nail in the coffin. It's next to try and hold. Shocks does find Gobby, and next eventually Ooh. does take him down with substantial damage from the scout as he's already taken a shot from his teammate. So Gob picks up the assist, but MBK's still lurking. They want to try and divide this outer sight again. Meanwhile, Smiths has got all the way to inner. Bombs dropped in the hallway, so they have the options entirely open. And never mind options, they've got two man advantage as well. Frishay with nice shots from that scout, managed to kill one, managed to de deal damage to another one, and he will be looking for some greater angles. And let's see if he can get some more, and now, still, it is a 4 on 2, still a great, great advantage. 4 envious, a 4 on 1, then it's the last man standing, and they know where he is. They're gonna throw the nades at him, the bomb is already planted, the time will just be running out on him, and Cappy, not to let him go, just closes the round out right here, right now, 18-15 in favor of Envious. Three rounds on the T side of the overtime, that's crushing. And three match points to work with. I mean, the fact yep. that they pick up three in overtime, again, it's just the ment mentality, like, they don't get, they get one gun round, okay, I was about to say they didn't get a single gun round, they got one gun round on the second half. And then they go to overtime, they pick up three. And it's all because they changed the default. They went back to a lurk style, which is what Envy's known for. They get position on both bomb sites. They split the defense up, and look what happens. Then they play late in the round, and they use their individual skill to win the duels. They didn't do that wow. all of regulation. Well, take a look at Envy as they're playing with an AUG and a SCAR-20 that I pointed out earlier never really appeared on that train. And there we go. Now, Kia to buy that SCAR-20 and shocks to play with an AUG. Let's see how it works out. I'll definitely keep track of him this entire round. I want to see someone score a frag finally with that weapon. He may just do that right now, but he's flashed up, so Ooh, he's forced yeah, to fall flash. off the bomb site. And it's going to be Kiyoshima that beats him to it. Smith finds Scott B and Chris J. 
He's still alive, but he's not doing too well. 22 oh. HP, and that's going to do it. Four straight rounds in OT. And Mouse Sports, despite looking so good on the comeback, falls so flat when we hit the extra rounds. And no Call of Duty for Sharks after all. He just got flashbacked, and that's the whole round, since Envy has closed it out so quickly. And it's 19-15, as you pointed out. Envious with three points. Now they tie it up with TSM and Mouseport still in the reach of pretty much everyone. If anyone wins two maps, will be above Mouseport. So they can even drop to the last place. Not good at all. That, I mean, that's one of the weird things is I don't think they'll go all the way to last with Penta, but they are going to be in a battle right now with Hellraisers. And Mouse Sports were actually a qualifying team. They were not one of the invited teams. So there was five invited teams in each group. And then it was Mouse Sports that qualified into Group B. And uh, it was Gamers 2, excuse me, that qualified into Group A. And Mouse Sports was essentially, as everyone knows, three of the former Penta players, which got a direct invite. So in some ways, they're fair game in this group. I think they should be able to make it out, but they're, I mean, you're right. It's, it's three draws and a loss now for them. Hellraisers are only one draw behind. If they pick up one simple series, it could be too late for Mouse Sports. I mean, that's, hats off to them for getting three draws against some of these top teams, but it's just, it's one of those weird situations where everyone's drawing and it may not be enough for them. Yeah, definitely may not be enough. Uh, I think they are out of the play for the top two spots already with TSM and Envious being up there, but they can still fight for the two middle spots. Hellraisers, Titan and Penta, still a tough fight right there. You have to beat Titan and Hellraisers, the teams that are still counted as the tier one teams. And then Mouse Sports is somewhere in between, like one and a half. And Penta Sports still, what I was talking about is that if Penta somehow win a best of two, Get three points, they're still above Mouse Sports. That's the wrong button. I was trying to show you guys that we have matches coming up tomorrow as well, huh. which will feature Team Kingwin. Uh, it will be, let's see if it's here. Yeah, there it is. Kingwin versus Navi. So if that brings us back over, that's Navi who leads the group two and one. It's interesting that they pretty much lead the entire league at that score line, but it's going to be Kingwin who's 0-1, and, yeah. and by the way, they have taken a forfeit loss due to their ESL scheduling. Uh, ESL was unable to give them a set time for tomorrow night, so therefore they've been forced and they agreed to do this. This wasn't a league decision. This was just based on a timeline that, that we couldn't fit all the matches in. They agreed coming in late to the league that they would take a forfeit against Virtus Pro, so Virtus Pro is going to improve to 2-2. Two and two. That'll put them back up there, in fact, ahead of Navi by one point. Uh -huh. And it'll leave Kingwin with a loss. So they've got to fight their way back into it, but they still have a reasonable chance in that group. It has to be said to make it through. Yeah, now V up there at the top of the league for quite a bit of time. And now Virtus Pro, they jump over just because another team forfeited. So quite a bit of luck right there. And let's see how Virtus Pro or Navi can come back there to that. Because, uh, well, do we have some matches of them coming in the nearest future? I don't think tomorrow, but. Yeah, that's the thing. Some teams might catch up, so I want to see some activity from Navi and Virtus Pro. Well, that said, guys, we will get to see at least one of those two teams, Navi against Team Kingwin tomorrow. We'll oh. see you then. Thanks so okay. much. What? Sorry, did I cut you off? No, no, no. Okay, good to see that. Good to hear that oh. Navi will <laughs> actually be playing in the nearest future. That's what I wanted to hear because you said Team Kingwin versus, and you didn't mention oh, I didn't the say. second team. Sorry, I thought I, I thought yeah. I did. It's Navi they're playing tomorrow. It's seventeen C E S T. All right. So yeah, you can close out the stream right now. I'm gonna do it. I'm not even gonna say anything. The stream's dead. See you guys. Love you. See you tomorrow. <laughs> yep. See ya. Going crazy, look up, there's a new life waiting Your head's buried in the sand You've been dealt the wrong hand Can't imagine how you feel Only you know that it's real so